good morning you guys it is 9 33 in the morning i am um sitting in my kids room i'm sorry about the mess in the back we're cleaning stuff up putting stuff away and all that so i just wanted to make this video today for you guys um i'm making part two today of my mommy makeover process and i just want to apologize first of all for how all over the place it's gonna be i have stuff recorded everywhere i record stuff from my on my laptop i record stuff from my ipad i record stuff on my phone i just have stuff recorded everywhere because i just use whatever is close to me at the time as you guys know i'm not gonna keep re-saying like the like my situation if you guys want to know what the situation is just go back and watch part one um part one is basically just me talking about what's going on and stuff like that part two which is this part is gonna be me more so showing like the evidence that i have and i've tried to record everything so you guys can see what is going on and um i have some screenshots of conversations with jolie and emails so i'm pretty much showing you guys everything so again i just want to apologize for how all over the place it is and how weird everything is going to look and the quality and all that so without further ado we're gonna get right into the video we're gonna start with me talking to i don't know what her title is but she she was a lady that i talked to when i initially got my quote and put my 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 money in this was the original text message with the account information i was given Okay, so yo yo ya yo llamé a Chase y Chase dijo dijeron que que nosotros no podía hablar con ellos. Para ustedes, tu banco es el que tiene que hablar con ellos. Okay. Tu banco no tiene que hablar con ellos. 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 Tu banco no
This is when she finally says that she received a call from Chase saying that the money was actually um, received by them. It was just on hold and that she would get word back from them August 1st. She goes on to say here that the, the billing department never confirmed that the check cleared and then she continues on to say that the check was actually rejected by Chase. I called my bank after to verify that the check was rejected and they had no recollection of it being rejected and on their end it was still paid and cashed so I wasn't really sure where the money went. Chase actually informed me that we could do a three-way call with Jolie, them, and myself. So I brought it up to Claudia, and she was kind of for it, and then she never really made it happen. Finally, after like three days of trying to get in contact with her to do this three-way, she tells me that she's on the phone with them and she'll call me in like 30 minutes. After the conversation, she lets me know that they weren't able to do a conference call. Way that I could speak, and they can't even speak to you. They have to speak to the party that actually deposit the check, which is your husband. And the only way that they could do that is if I go, if, I, if you guys come to Florida and he's in front of me and I could call the friend. Okay, so that's the only way that I'm going to be able to, to get the check? The only way that you guys can get the check is to go to the Federal Navy Federal Bank with your husband to form the ID from him and recall the check. They have to call Chase Bank if they need to. They have to provide with your husband's information. The check was deposited to a bank with the wrong name. Okay. Okay? Yeah. I'll go ahead and notify the billing department again if you want to go ahead and proceed with surgery for the given date that you're scheduled for. You have to find another form of payment. Because if unfortunately we don't have any funds in your account, we have to take you out from the schedule. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Alrighty, you could call me or email me if you have any other questions or concerns. Okay, thank you. This is my conversation with my pre-op coordinator, Cindy Lopez, who one day just randomly messaged me saying that my surgeon, Dr. Garani, was looking at my file and he thinks that I need breast implants and I was concerned because it wasn't part of my original quote, so I wasn't expecting that fee and she let me know that if I didn't want to proceed with him, I would be able to proceed with another doctor, but it would be an additional cost. Is finally leading up to the end of all of this I'm gonna put in my better business bureau complaint repeat this is not a drill so that is everything that I have you guys um, if you have any questions don't be afraid to ask me like comment down below I will reply um, this is the end of my surgery journey. I will not be doing this again. It's kind of bittersweet. I'm glad that everything is getting figured out. Um, I just really hope that not, that this doesn't happen to anyone again because this is very unfortunate and it shouldn't, like nobody should have to go through this. And I'm really glad that I went through it 
because I wouldn't want anybody else to go through it and it doesn't really bother me like I'm not but her about it or whatever so thank you guys again so much for watching and I hope that you know you guys will take this experience and make the right decision when you're doing your research I hope this helps you with your research again this is just my experience I'm not sure like a lot of people go through a lot of people go to Jolie and their experiences are just fine that's what I thought mine was gonna be like but that was not the case um, maybe it's different if you live in Florida or if you, I don't know, maybe if you're a celebrity, it's different for you because all the celebrities that I've seen go to Jolie have been, have, it's been a piece of cake for them. So I don't know. It's life. I'm good. I'll be good. And that's that. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this. Please share this with anybody that is looking into Jolie or thinking about Jolie or whatever about Jolie. Just share this video to them. And thank you guys. See ya.